Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate the uses of a behavior that allows us to use custom path nodes with AI features in CopperCube 3D Game Engine. You can download the extension from my website www.neophyte.cf. Download this custom path and AI behavior from the website. And for this video demonstration, I have already prepared a project file and saved it on my desktop. As you can see, pathtest.ccb. I'm going to open it. Let me just maximize it. As you might already see all these scene nodes in the scene graph explorer here. So first we have our path folder here, which holds all the path points or the path nodes. So you can see cube mesh one, cube mesh two, cube mesh three, cube mesh four. And all these cube mesh, which are arranged in a circular pattern here, are in the path folder. And these are actually our path points, which we are going to use in our behavior as a custom path points or path nodes. You can use whatever nodes or whatever 3D objects you want. I have used cube meshes. You can use empty nodes, like creating a sphere with zero radius and zero poly count. So it will create an empty node which is not visible in the 3D viewport but you might access it from the scene graph explorer here. So sphere mesh 1 is our empty node. We can rename it to empty here and then I'm gonna change the y position or y axis to 0 here and then simply move it something like here. So we have our empty node located here and then we have our AI which is animated man and we are going to use this 3D model as our AI. So I have already renamed to re renamed this model to AI. Then we have our player which is our animated clerk model and I have already renamed it to player here. And I have also applied a, an object or person controlled by keyboard behavior to our player so that we can control it with our keyboard. Then we have some text overlays like uh, action on player interact and then we have action on node 10. Then we have action on finish and it is our newly or freshly created empty node. So what we have to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply drag this empty node here to our path node so that it will become the children of our path node. And in our path here, in our path folder, all the nodes that we see, like this empty node here, and this cube mesh 3, cube mesh 1, cube mesh 2, cube mesh 4 are the path points. So when we apply the behavior to our AI, then our AI will start following the path from the point 1. And then it will go to point 2, point 3, point 4, point 5 until the last or final point, which is empty in our case, which we have just added to our path folder. So we have our AI here. And we have already attached makes an AI follows a custom path behavior to it, which is our main behavior or the topic of this video on which we are talking right now. So we have some properties here. First one is AI and it is the node which we are going to make follow the path. So we have selected the AI, which is our animated man. So I have selected AI here. Then we have our player here. We can leave it empty or use a player here so that we can interact the player with the AI. So in order to make the player interact with the AI, I have to select a player here. So I have selected this clerk, animated clerk as player. Then we can specify how fast or how slow the AI will follow the path or you can see the speed of moving speed of the AI here. So I have been using 0 0.05 for this video reference. Then we have path here in which we have to select the path folder. 
So we have our path folder here. We have selected it. You can rename your path folder to something else. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever name you want for your path folder. It is not necessary at all. Then we have an option which is look towards motion. So let's say our AI is moving from this point to this point. So what this option will do is if it is enabled, what this will do is it will automatically rotate the AI according to the next path point. Suppose if AI is on this point and the next path point is this, then the AI will automatically rotate it according to this path point. And if AI is on this point, then it will be automatically rotated according to this path point. So it will always look into the motion of the path or the path direction. So, okay. Then we have additional rotation. So what it will do is it, suppose if your object is not rotating correctly or if it is rotating in the opposite direction, then you can simply specify an additional rotation value in this additional rotation parameter here to fix or correct the rotation. Then we have loop path option here. So if this is enabled, this option is enabled, what your AI will do is it will follow the path continuously. For example, it will start from this starting point, which is cube mesh three, and then it will follow the path in the mm, clockwise direction according to this path we have set up in a circular motion. And let's say this is the final point, then it will move from here, from cube mesh three to cube mesh 14. And then on reaching cube mesh 14 or the final point, what it will do is it will again move to the starting point from the final point. So in our example or in our project, we have empty node is our last node or last path point. So what the AI will do is whenever AI will reach to this empty node here, it will start going back to the starting point. So it will move from here to the starting point and then it will start following the path again like this. So it will follow the path like this in a clockwise direction according to our path. Then we have this loop path disabled. If we have this loop path option disabled, then what will happen is this AI will follow the path from the starting point. And once it reached to the final point, which is our empty node somewhere here in this area, and then once it reaches to this final point, it will stop moving or it will do nothing. It will execute the action which we will specify in the action on finish and it will do nothing there and will sit idle there. So then we have patrol mode and what this patrol mode allow us to do is it will allow the AI to move from starting point to the final point and once after reaching the final point it will reverse its direction so it will go backwards in like a pendulum for example it will go like this here and then it will go like this so it will go in clockwise direction and then it will go in anti-clockwise direction like this so it will go like this motion so it will go back and forth like a patrolling, uh, guarding something. And then we have an option to stop when player encounters. So what this option will do is it is really necessary when we are interacting player and the AI. So what this will do is whenever this player or animated clerk comes in the activation radius which is 20 so you can specify the activation radius here so whenever the player comes in the activation radius of the ai it will stop the ai from following the path or it will stop the ai wherever it is so suppose if the ai is here and it comes in the activation radius of the player or the ai sorry the player will come in the activation radius of the ai 
then it will stop the AI right here and it will execute an action on interact. You can specify the action on interact here. So what it will do is whenever the player comes in the activation radius of the AI, it will stop the AI from following the path and it will execute an action on interact. So you can specify the action on interact here. So then we have action on leaving and what this action on leaving will do is it will execute an action whenever the player goes out of the activation radius or whenever the player leaves the activation radius of the AI. Then we have action on finish and this will execute an action when this AI will reach to the final path point or the final path node. In our case, it is our empty node. So whenever the player reaches to the empty node, it will execute an action on finish. Sorry, the AI will reach to the final point, not the player, because player is not going to move. Then we have action on node. What if we want to execute an action on a specific path point? So when player reaches, oh sorry, when AI reaches, to a specific path point and we want to execute an action there so in order to do that we can specify a node number which is our specific node for example 10 if we want to execute an action when the ai reaches to this 10th node here yeah i know this is the 10th node <laughs> so you can count it like this this is the starting node so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so this is the 10th node so whenever the ai reaches this node it will execute an action you can change the node number here you can change it to something like 5 then it will execute the action whenever the ai reaches to the fifth node which is 1 2 3 4 and 5 this will this node so it will execute an action when the AI reaches to this path point. So let's just change it back to 10 and let's just turn on the loop path mode and disable patrol mode. And now we have some actions uh, supplied to these action on interact, action on leaving, action on finish, action on node. And what these actions are, it are actually these are basic actions which hide or unhide these text overlays so in action on interact we are uh, making visible this 2d overlay one so we are showing this 2d overlay one and then action on living we are hiding that 2d overlay one and on action on finish we are showing this 2d overlay three and then action on node, we are showing this 2D overlay too. So now just test the application. So if I press Ctrl F10, you can see the AI started following the path in a circular clockwise direction. And once it reaches to the player or the player comes in the activation radius, it executed the action on interacts because we can see the 2D action overlay, uh, 2D overlay 1, which reads like action on player interact. And it also stops the AI from following the path. So if I move the player with my cursor keys, then you will notice that the AI started to follow the path again where it left the path. So it will follow the path and it is now going to execute action on finish. It has already executed action on node 10 when it reaches to the 10th path point or 10th node of our path. And it also executed action on finish when it reaches to the empty node. So, and after reaching the empty node, it started following the path again by coming back to by coming back to the starting point of the path. So this will continue until we stop it or we delete the AI. And now let's just change or disable the loop path. And what will happen is that it will follow the path 
only once and will execute action on finish when reaching the final destination and will also execute action on node 10. So action on node 10 has been executed and it will execute action on finish after reaching the final position which is empty node and will remain there for the whole time and it will do nothing here so you can see it is on the final path point which is our empty node so ai will do nothing after reaching the final path point and then we can simply enable the patrol mode on and in the patrol mode it will oscillates from starting point to end point and then from ending point to start point again and again like a pendulum let me just move out the player from the path so that the ai will be able to move freely and action on node 10 has been executed action on finish has been executed and now the ai has changed its paths and you can see clearly that it is now moving in anti-clockwise direction and once it reaches to the starting point it will change its direction again and will start moving again in the clockwise direction so you can see it is now patrolling the area or patrolling the path it will continue doing this until we stop it or we delete the ai node also there is one more thing whenever the patrol mode is enabled then it will execute the action on finish two times once when reaching to the final point and once when the player uh, ai switches its direction then on reaching to the starting point so it will execute action when reaching to the final point and once the direction has been changed or the direction has been reversed it will execute the action on starting point and now we can simply disable this stop when player encounter so that even if the player will come in the radius activation radius of the ai it won't affect the working mechanism or the ai the ai will continue following its path it won't execute the action on interact or action on leaving and it won't stop the ai from following the path or from whatever it is doing So we don't have loop path enabled or patrol mode enabled and stop when player encounter enabled. And we have already seen that the AI will not do anything if stop when player encounter is not enabled. So it won't execute action on interact and action on living, but will execute action on finish and action on node. So now let's just change the node number to something like five so that it can execute the uh, action when reaching this fifth node or fifth path point here one two three four five so whenever the ai reaches to this point it will show a 2d overlay text and let's just change the overlay text to something like action on node five and now test the application so it has started moving I know it's a bit hard to see the AI, but it is actually there. So it already executed the action on node 5 when the AI reached to the fifth path point. You can zoom it. Let's just zoom in. you might be wondering that we have something here 
So because that's because we have this uh, look towards motion disabled. So the rotation is not working. So if I zoom in here, then you will see that the player is or the AI is stuck to the same rotation and it is not rotating according to the path points and the motion or the movement looks very odd. So you can enable this option, look towards motion and test the application again. And if I zoom in now, then you can clearly see that the AI is now automatically rotating according to the path nodes or the path points. So it is going through all the path points to the empty node or the empty path point here and then come back to the last node and patrol starts patrolling the path or it starts patrolling the area. So this is how this custom path node with AI features behavior works. I hope you understand the video. I know it's a bit quite confusing whenever I speak in English language because it's hard for me to explain and to make you understand everything. So I tried to explain it more clearly and I just hope that it worked or you are able to understand it completely. And it's a very long time since I uploaded any video on YouTube. So yeah, that's all for today's video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave your views or feedbacks in the comments down below. You can find the link to the behavior in the description down below. If you want, you can join the Discord server. And you can also check all those weird links in the description down below for affiliated purchasing of copper cube 3d game engine which will give us some commission if you purchase through my links and yeah that's pretty much it i hope to bring more videos like this or to bring more extensions like this as i'm free now my exams are over so bye bye have a good day hasta la vista peace out